Now this, guys, this is the Lacie Little Big Disc. This is a Thunderbolt external storage device from, obviously, Lacie. And it has two Thunderbolt ports, which means it is compatible with daisy chaining. This particular configuration uses SSDs, 240 gigs worth of Intel SSDs to achieve just beastly read and write speed. So let's have a look at what Lissy has to say for themselves. Speeds up to 10 gigabit per second. Mac OS RAID 0 or 1, so you can configure whatever's in there however you want. Dual ports, dual cooling, fan and passive aluminum heat sinky thing going on here and uses Intel solid state drives. What else we got here? So protocols, PCI Express data, video, dual mode display port. Remember guys, um, Thunderbolt can pass through a display port signal. So you can plug into this and then plug out of this into a display port monitor. Here it says a fair bit, okay, 10 gigabit per second, 10 gigabit per second, 10 gigabit per second, and 10 gigabit per second. If you didn't gather it already, it is capable of up to 10 gigabit per second. You can uh, daisy chain up to six Thunderbolt technology compatible devices, pre-configured in a RAID 0 stripe for ultimate performance. So if you were using this as a scratch disk or something where you need extreme performance in an external drive, say you have a laptop that you use for video editing or photo editing, for example, this is the solution to your problem. Power mode, cables technology, active copper, ca active copper cables are purchased separately. Remember guys, Thunderbolt requires active cables, which means there are actual processors inside each end of the cable in order to pass through the signal. All right, performance comparison. This is all theoretical, of course, but Thunderbolt technology basically just rips apart everything else because it is dramatically faster. Okay, you can daisy chain a bunch of devices in a row and then finally output to a monitor with display port. So Thunderbolt, 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 display port. And the dual cooling with heat sink and fan is going to be fairly evident once we open it up. So this isn't the first time this particular product has been opened because this is a demo unit that we're taking a look at for an upcoming NCIX tech tips about Thunderbolt. Wow, this thing's heavy. It's actually pretty nice looking. Got a little like blue eye thing going on in the front, one eye. And then um, we've got a cooling fan in the back two Thunderbolt ports, a Kensington lock, as well as power. You can see the uh, the ribbed texture here on the heatsink. That definitely makes it uh, cooler to use, if nothing else. Okay. So, in terms of accessories, we've got a variety of different uh, international plugs that it comes with. So this is clearly an international version. We've also got, wow, check this out. This is also made of uh, presumably aluminum, although some kind of metal for sure. And it slides in from the back. Oop. That's not slick, way to go. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. Give me a sec here, guys. So it comes with screws. So you just take out the included ones, put this on here, plug in the included screws with the included Allen key, and then it'll sit on this handy little stand that looks very nice. Very professional looking. What else we got here? Okay, active Thunderbolt cable not included, but ours has one just because uh, we need one for the demo we're going to be doing. So, uh, yeah, that, does, that doesn't come with it. That's not part of the unboxing. Ignore that part. All right, power adapter. And finally, oh, okay, that will need. So that goes there. That one actually does slide in there, presumably, in order to, you know, do something good. Oh, I see. You don't actually have to take out those other ones. You just screw that into there, and then the whole thing is slide-inable, outable. Because I guess it was probably a lot more expensive to make out of a solid piece of metal something with a flare on the end. I can see that. Okay. All right. I guess that's a pretty good solution then. You can see I can shake this to get something out of it because it doesn't have mechanical drives inside. So I'm kind of tempted to open this up just because uh, otherwise... You know, we're not going to see how sexy it is inside. So give me a second here, guys. So we're undoing the last screw here, and uh, let's take these out. Oh, wow, these are pretty long. It's almost like they're compensating for something. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, okay, let's be careful with this. And four. So, uh, oh, the front comes off. Okay. You can see the Intel SSDs loaded in there. So let's, uh, oh, okay, more screws. I'm gonna undo these ones too, I guess. So those um, are attached right there. And one, and two. And, uh, whoop, whoop, okay. Ah, there we go. Hmm. And there we go. 
All right, so this is the inside of the little big disc. So there's your two Thunderbolt ports, there's your cooling fan that's installed, there's your 120 gig Intel 320 series SSDs, so these are modern Intel SSDs. Um, there's your front LED as well as your front switch, which, oh, no, that's not a front switch, that must be like a, some kind of a hard reset or something like that, so we're not going to touch that. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Not much else to say. So this drive is attached here. I mean, if you wanted to change the drives, you could, which is kind of cool. Very simple. Looks like there's some kind of beefy, like, chipset-y thing going on under there, but we're not going to take it apart any more than that. Thank you for checking out our unboxing and complete disassembly of the the C Little Big Disc. And don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. And the reason we have such high-end SSDs in here is so that we can properly showcase the performance of which Thunderbolt is capable. Sorry guys, we have to clarify something. To turn the device on, you do have to press on this right here.